Hello. And welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the amazing world around you. In today's episode, we're going to learn about the Perseid meteor shower and shooting stars. Let's start with the basics. A meteor shower is a fascinating and awe-inspiring celestial event, which means it happens in space or in the upper atmosphere of the Earth. A meteor is a piece of rock that can vary in size. You might be surprised to discover that an impressive shooting star might come from a piece of rock the size of a pea. Meteor sizes range all the way from a grain of sand to bigger than a school bus. A meteor will float in space. And when the gravitational force of the Earth or another celestial body pulls on it, it will turn into a fireball and burn through the atmosphere. As it burns up in the atmosphere, it leaves a streak of light. That's why they're also called shooting stars. Usually, a meteor will burn up in the atmosphere before reaching the ground. More rarely, larger meteors will hit the Earth. In this case, their name changes to a meteorite. Meteorites can leave craters, damage the surroundings, or can even be life-altering events. Like the meteorite strike that killed the dinosaurs. Amazingly, meteors are very common. Scientists believe that around 17 meteorites a year actually hit the Earth with varying degrees of damage. While hundreds of smaller meteors burn up in the atmosphere every day. Sometimes, we get to witness a special celestial event called a meteor shower. This is when you can see a whole lot of shooting stars on a particular date, and in a particular part of the sky. One example is the Perseid meteor shower, which takes place every year from mid-July to the end of August. It peaks around August 15th. It's called the Perseid Meteor Shower because it appears close to the Perseid constellation that you can see in the night sky. The Perseid constellation is named after the mythological Greek hero, Perseus. He was the son of Zeus and Princess Danae, whose name means she of the golden reign. Perseus earned his place as a constellation after a number of great adventures. One of these was killing the monster Medusa. The Perseid Meteor Shower is the result of a trail of debris that has come off of a comet called Swift Tuttle. It was discovered by astronomers Lewis Swift and Horace Parnell Tuttle in July 1862. Swift Tuttle is a large periodic comet, which means it orbits around the Sun in a period of time less than 200 years. In this case, Swift Tuttle takes 133 years to complete its orbit. It was last seen in 1992 and will make another pass of Earth in 2126. As the comet orbits space, it leaves a trail of rock and ice, which make up the meteors of the Perseid meteor shower. Every July to August, the Earth's orbit passes through this trail of debris, and we experience a meteor shower. The connection between comets and meteor showers was established in 1866, by an Italian astronomer and science historian. His name was Giovanni Virginio Schiaparelli. He realized comets leave debris, after observing Swift Tuttle as it passed close to the Sun in 1862. The Perseid meteor shower is an impressive annual event that can be seen on clear nights. It's most visible from the northern hemisphere in the direction of the Perseid constellation. You'll be surprised to learn that there are shooting stars even during the day. We just can't see them. In history, this meteor shower has come to signify certain beliefs for people. For Catholics, the meteor shower is sometimes referred to as the Tears of St. Lawrence. He is a saint to Catholics because he was martyred in ancient Rome for his belief in Christianity. He was executed by Emperor Valerian on August 10, 258 CE. For the ancient Greeks and Romans, meteor showers were signs that something good or bad was about to happen. Some scholars also believe that the star that directed the three wise men to baby Jesus was, actually, a comet. There's even suggestions that the Perseid meteor shower was visible after Queen Cleopatra died in August, in the year 30 BCE. So, grab your coat and a blanket. Don't forget the hot cocoa, and see if you can spot some shooting stars in the night sky. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson visit Kids Connect for fun and fact-filled worksheets on many more topics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.